spring, like everything's new. The sun burst flowers, calling on warm days overdue. But I So today I wanted to do a really quick video just to show you guys how you can basically edit um, your pictures for social media just like a real influencer would do. So if you don't like editing pictures this video is probably not for you but this is for the hardcore fans that are really committed to getting that perfect kind of Instagram aesthetic out on their page. So I'm going to try and put this through and I'll just do a quick screen record for you guys so you can see exactly how to do it and yeah let's crack on with it. So I use um, four main apps, um, the first one here, um, I'll, t I'll tell you in order, so the first one is Skin Tanner, obviously if we're looking for a swimwear aesthetic you want to have lovely bronzed golden kind of skin, so the app Skin Tanner is perfect when you don't have a natural tan and you don't want to put a fake tan on your body or you don't want to go out in the sun. Uh, the second one I will then throw it into Photoshop Fix which is a, basically a mini version of Photoshop for your phone and I use this to whiten the background. I used to also use it for smoothing out skins and imperfections and retouching but actually I now have um, Facetune 2 which I use for those kind of details and also for restructuring the face and contouring the face. And then the final one is Colour Tone, which is where if you want to create a really nice aesthetic for your page and you want everything to kind of be in harmony, Colour Tone is a really good app for filtering the final photo. Okay, so I've just pulled up quickly here so you can see um, the photo that we're going to edit today. And this is basically the before photo and this here is basically what it looks like after. Now this is not the perfect photo um, because the sun is coming directly at me in this picture and so the mirror behind me is literally the sun is reflecting directly off that and creating blur. So um, that's one thing, it's not the perfect photo but anyway we're going to do our best and I'll show you how exactly um, I edited this photo. Okay so I'm just going to edit open up here Skin Tanner um, first. Um, I always do this one first, I'm not really sure why but I think, I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to whiten first and tan after. Um, so I kind of just do tanning um, first always. I'm already quite tan in this picture as you can see. But anyway, I always I like to add a little bit more of a bronze effect and you'll see why later when we go into the filter app. Um, it just kind of shows up a little bit better. So here you've got the strength of the tan that you want and also smoothness. I kind of leave smoothness alone um, usually because what it does, we're going to basically smooth out the body um, later when we go into Facetune. So I don't really need to smooth it out here. I kind of feel like it, it makes more sense to do it in Facetune later. So I'm just literally colouring over um, my whole body. What's quite good about this app is the, the tan, even if you go outside the lines of where you want to tan, it doesn't show up that bad unless you do it over a kind of white surface. Um, so I kind of like do it a really, really rough hand. The more zoomed out you are when you do it, the quicker this is to do. And um, literally you click on erase now and you're basically everywhere you kind of went outside the lines, you just quickly now erase um, that tan from that part of the photo. And I'm just going to speed this bit up for you. It's kind of self-explanatory, uh, but I'll just speed this up so you guys get the gist. Okay, so I've just done a really rough version. Normally I would spend a little bit more time on this, but just for the purposes of this video, I then hit save. And again, you can just spend a lot more time making sure that all the, um, you know, where you've coloured outside the lines, you can kind of make it perfect. Uh, now we're going to open up Photoshop Fix. So Photoshop Fix really allows you to basically totally, almost totally whiten out um, certain areas of, into a very, very strong kind of resolution. So um, what you do here is you go to Lights and you've got lighten and darken and you can um, make the hardness um, which is basically like how hard do you want the white effect to be I normally have it at 70 um, for Instagram pictures and then opacity, opacity basically means do you want it totally block white or do you still want to see some of the background um, there and obviously we always want to still see um, the original background um, behind the photo so we'll take down opacity 
I just kind of have a play around with it and just see what it looks like. Um, it looks like my app is already picking up the fact that I've edited this one before, so it's already picking up the, the white areas that I've previously edited. But I'm gonna now go over here, and just like you did with the tan app, I'm basically gonna color light, lighten all of the floor tiles um, to give this like really nice, clean looking Instagram um, aesthetic. And it's exactly the same um, feature as the tanning app and you literally just go back and what it does is it, by whitening the background it really like cleans up um, the aesthetic of the photo visually it just makes it look a lot more chic um, and just a lot more tidy and kind of put together so you then go on restore just like you did with the tanning app and you'll literally go back and unwhiten so restore takes it back to its original thing just unwhiten any part of the photo so if you go over your body for example where you know we've just spent all that time tanning um, we want to then go and restore that back to what it was originally because um, we don't want that bit to be whitened and i'm just going to again speed this up for you guys so So now what I'm going to do, in here I quite like to crop the picture as well, just to kind of get rid of, um, I want myself to be like the, the focal um, part of the photo and sort of get rid of some of the unwanted backgrounds. Um, you can actually crop it for Instagram if you want to, I'm just going to, for the purposes of this video, just crop it out um, like that, just to cut off a little bit of the, um, the outside. And um, within this app, within Photoshop Fix, you can actually do a lot more. So you can actually do a lot of healing and retouching. So your skin, if you've got any laughter lines, um, blemishes, anything like that, you can actually do it really, really well in this, um, in this app. But for myself, um, recently I've been really enjoying the Facetune 2. It's a lot more detailed. Um, and I just feel like you could just create such a nice, smooth finish and restructure um, a lot better in Facetune 2. So I'm just going to save that one. Okay, now we're going to go up and we're going to open up Facetune 2. So, on Facetune, um, the retouch feature is absolutely amazing and you can also add some makeup to your face as well from Facetune 2. Um, I'm just going to go into retouch. So here you've got things like auto. If you click on auto, it will naturally um, brighten your photo. If you go into um, heal, I'm just going to zoom in on my face. Um, I might have some, you know, small um, blemishes there. You can literally click the heal um, feature and it will totally take out um, any kind of blemish um, from your face. It's also got, um, I'm like wondering, my skin's normally a lot worse than this. Let me see if I can find any more blemishes. Okay, so here's a blemish on my stomach there, so I'll take that out. Um, you've got smooth as well. now. What I've noticed a lot of um, influencers do is that they smooth their entire body because when you later put it into a filter, it comes it comes out a lot better. It's just a lot more clean looking and really, really kind of crisp. Okay, I'm gonna go on smoother and here you can see it really starts to smooth out imperfections in the skin. Take my forehead there. Okay, you can see as you zoom in what it's actually doing. And to be honest, I can kind of take it or leave it. I think even with what I've done there, it's a little bit too much. Um, but you know, around the neckline, the cleavage, and here, as you can see, there's a patch here where my previous spray tan was. So we'll just kind of smooth out that a little bit. Um, you could even heal that area to make it look a little bit better. Got a bit of shadowing going on my stomach there, my leg, birthmark. So there we go. So we've smoothed everything out um, here. Also, it's difficult to show you on this photo because I'm wearing sunglasses, but if you go into the feature paint, um, you can actually, you know when people have makeup on and they have like the whitened corners of their eyes, 
if this hasn't, if you've done your makeup in that way and it hasn't translated to camera, you can actually go into paint here, click on the glitter effect and choose like a light colour, like um, not quite white, but you can choose like the cream one and then you can literally add in the makeup into the corners of your eyes just to make that pop and stand out a little bit more because as I mentioned earlier, sometimes your makeup just really doesn't translate. And also if you have eyelashes, um, you can go into, where is it going? Oh, you can go into details or sharpen and you can just go over all your individual lashes and this will basically bring them out to the forefront and you're same with your eyeliner and stuff like that. You can also um, use details underneath the jawline just to basically make um, your jawline look a little bit more pronounced. So I've just done it a little bit there and it kind of just lifts that jawline just kind of like where you would contour the face and gives it a bit more definition there. Okay, so I think what else is kind of bugging me about this photo is the cloth over the back of the chair is a little bit creased. So I will also go in and I will heal um, some of the creases out of the fabric. Let's go back, that's a bit too much. Just to kind of neaten it up a little bit. And you've got to be careful with this feature because sometimes you can add creases in by accident how you drag the brush. And then go to smoother and smooth out the wrinkles a little bit. Because the more, like the smoother the background aesthetic is, the more focus um, the person is gonna be in the photo. So I'm just gonna also heal So there we go. Now there's other things that you can do there. You can add structure to the plant in the background, but I think for me at the moment, I just want to keep the background kind of non-distracting and just keep myself the focus. So I'm just going to then now hit save. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the app Color Tone. So this is really where you can filter your pictures if you want to. Now, if you're just the average person and you just want a nice Instagram picture, um, I, I advise not using a filter. I think it always looks a lot more real. I think the picture looks a lot better. The colours in the picture also um, really pop and stand out very well. Um, if you're a business um, like myself and you want to create, you, you're more focused about kind of like your feed and how it looks, then you can actually add a filter to all of your um, images as long as it doesn't distort um, the colour of the product that you're selling. So for me, um, it's swimwear, so if I add um, any of the swimwear into this filter, I really have to tone it down a little bit to make sure that the real colour of the swimsuit is still showing. So anyway, we're just going to open up um, the photo that we just edited. The thing that's a little bit annoying about um, Facetune 2 is when it saves um, the picture in your camera roll, it won't necessarily save it as your most recent photo. You've got to sometimes scroll down and refind it again, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, I found it here. So we're just now going to import that into um, the filter section. Now, if you click on um, the bottom left, um, where it's got the kind of little coloured squares together, you can basically see all of these different filters um, that are available and many of them are paid um, so they won't be unlocked but actually um, I was watching a YouTube tutorial by Ali Orton who is a top um, bikini and swimsuit influencer globally, she's based in Australia and she uses Uluwatu um, and also um, Talia Skeins already or, sorry, also uses Uluwatu and Maldives um, for her feed and I actually found Uluwatu is actually amazing for creating this like really nice chic kind of minimalist um, aesthetic. So I use that, um, that's what I added here on this particular picture. And if you go to where it's got, um, at the bottom left plus minus, you can also turn down the contrast, the brightness, and I specifically turn down the saturation. So if you see when you sometimes add filters to your photo, it will make your skin look very, very orangey. 
That strong orange colour is the saturation level, so you can literally just turn it down. And honestly, I, there's no specific rule of thumb to this, I just turn it down to when it looks like I've got a more natural tan and the real colours of the swimsuit come back. And you can literally play around um, with other things like the exposure. If you add a little bit more exposure, you can increase the brightness of the photo. This was already quite a bright photo because we literally had the sunset light coming directly at me. That's also why my skin tends to look a little bit more tan to start with as well. Um, and you can play around with shadows. So shadows is a really good thing if you want your abs to pop out a little bit more. If you increase the shadow, um, it will basically darken those areas where you have like the lines in your abs. Even if they are faint, it will kind of make them stand out a little bit. And again, temperature temperature cooling it down sometimes you see um, people that have gone from like that kind of like minimalist looking feed on their Instagram where like everything is white and it's that very kind of like cool tone this is the temperature you basically just remove the temperature and the heat and the warmth color from the photo um, and that will create that kind of nice aesthetic as well so yay I think we're basically finished with this particular picture uh, I'm just gonna hit save on this one now but anyway, I hope there were some useful tips for you guys um, in here. I do want to do a full video on setting up pre-edit, how you can set up to make sure that you get a nice photo and even getting a perfect photo without even editing a thing. Um, we can definitely do that. We'll probably do it from isolation to so do like a little photo shoot at home. But I'm definitely like quite keen to take you guys through that as well because it does make a huge difference. Um, if you really like this kind of content, do let me know. As I mentioned, it's a new channel so I want to just do everything around swimwear, um, beachwear, holidays, stuff styling, um, you know, swimwear pictures, whatever it is swimwear related, um, we can definitely just focus the channel on that. So let me know what, what you guys would like to see and what would be useful for you. Anybody that's previously commented on the video before this, you've got a chance to win a free bikini, which I will announce in my next video. I filmed these two so close together. Um, I literally posted that one last night and I'm doing this one today. So I'll probably announce two winners in the next video. So all you've got to do is comment below, let me know what would be helpful in the channel and I will send you a free bikini if you have the most useful suggestion. So yay, I tried to speed through this one. Hopefully it's going to be a short video. Uh, do let me know if you learned something and if it was useful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.